Hey everyone, welcome back where we are testing every single mask on Amazon. Why? I don't know, I can't answer that. But we are, and we're testing American-made masks today. So I'm very excited to, to see the, the various and sundry ways that we are promoting things in the United States. So this is a company called FHS Food Health Safety. Let's put it in the clamper and test this guy. It's got a Made in America stamp right there, just so you don't forget it. Making fun of them a little bit. Let's let it rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency. Check out the link if you want to know how that works. All right, FHS, if that's your real name. Food health safety. Why food? Ear loop procedure mask, blue. Um, I don't know, Josh, you see any uh, things on the listing there? They are making a 99% plus claim on the box here, but it's BFE. BFE, just so you know, is a totally useless uh, stat for, um, for, for the coronavirus. Bacteria is, is way too big. So it could be BFE. I, I'm gonna call them out on that if they're not hitting a really high number here though, because like people don't understand that. And so you're, you're kind of uh, marketing to them and, and that's not cool. So if I look at the, the listing here, uh, they're saying uh, these masks are labeled for general use. However, they meet ASTM 2 for procedure masks and are guaranteed to have a minimum 98% PFE. Uh, we also offer medical procedure masks at level 3. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Okay. Well, we shall see because it turns out that that's what this machine is made to test. So we will see if they are hitting their 98% guarantee. So look at the box. Let's open it up, rather. Made in the USA. I like the box. It is, uh, you know, it's, it's very medical, uh, very straightforward, but um, it's not a soft touch. So you're gonna feel about that. Okay, this is cool. Open it up. You got it uh, packaged, inspected by S1 and Pass. It's got some schmutz in there, which is a technical term. Um, oh, and look at that. This guy kind of like that. I mean, you know. Some guy could, you know, a kid could have gotten their grimy hands in here before and I wouldn't ever know because it's not sealed. Um, but, I, you know, I kind of like, I, you know, I like the, the reusability aspects of that. So let's, let's open this up real quick. I'm already behind. Made in the USA, just in case you're wondering, it's on every mask. I don't, like the ear loops are a little bit small and I'm thinking that when this happens, they usually, oh! Wow, I, FHS, you are crushing the game. Crushing it. You could hold up two bald eagles with this. Dang, that's crazy. I mean, this is like a very small ear loop. Usually when that happens, the welds are not good, but this is like, oh my God, look at this. I am not strong enough to destroy this, man. Okay, I'm starting to get on, I'm, I'm starting to get on Team FHS. I, those ear loops are out of control. And just in case you forgot, they are made in America. It says it on every mask. Being a little bit of a troll there. Great nose wire. Ooh, that's a kind of a pleasant smell. Oh yeah, what, what is that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this like um, a recently cleaned garden shed. Recently cleaned garden shed. Because it's like, there's like a floral aroma in the air, but now it's been sanitized. Hmm. It's kind of earthy, but like clean. I'm gonna give them 25 points on that too. Construction, awesome. Uh, smell, awesome. What about the PFE? Is it awesome? Are they hitting their 98% claim? We're gonna find out together, let's do this. Oh, what was it guaranteed? Oh, hold on, Guar was it guaranteed? Boy, you should not use that word. Guaranteed, guaranteed. They missed it, it's 97. 97.103. 97.103. That is close. It's very close, but it's not there. Now, if you are doing, like if you're Nelson Labs, what you're going to do is you're going to do probably 20 of these tests and then you're going to average them together. And so it is possible at that level that uh, there's natural variability and we're dipping below into that. But they went so hard on it, that makes me kind of say, ugh. You didn't really meet the ASTM standards on that mask. I'm not gonna test, you know, 10 more of these because I just don't have time. Um, 
It's not enough that I'm going to call it outright fraud, but uh, just just probably remove the word guarantee from your listing because clearly that's not the case. So, I mean, super breathable, um, pretty nice box, pretty good price, uh, and, and, and like the, the ear loops are like stronger than an Olympic lifter. Like, I mean, th that's so impressive. So it's a pretty good, pretty good mask. You know, if I didn't own a mask factory, I may just find myself using an FHS mask. So nice work, guys. All right, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, I will catch you guys on the next test. If you give me a like and a subscribe. Otherwise, I'm walking right now. I'll, I'll, I'll be there. I'll see you there.